Okay, here uh, we want to talk about trigonometry. And one of the most important uh, topics in trigonometry is learning how to convert our angle measures meant from de degrees to radians or from radians to degrees. Remember, we have two different um, units of measurement uh, that we need to be accustomed to and comfortable with when we're dealing in trigonometry. So now, first, from degrees to radians, we want to multiply by pi over 180 degrees. That's to go from our degrees, and we want to express it in radians. But when it's given in radians and we want to convert it to degrees, we want to multiply by 180 degrees over pi. So let's look at um, some examples right here. So first, I want to multiply... Um, 60 degrees and we want to turn that into radians. So the first thing we need to do is multiply that by pi over 180 degrees. Okay. Now remember, we're going to cross multiply. 60 will go into 60 once time and then 60 will go into 180 three times. So we're left with pi over 3. Okay. Now let's look at another one. Just say we have 240 um, degrees and we want to convert that to radians. So once again we multiply by Pi over 180 degrees. Once again, the greatest common factor is 60. So 60 will go into 240 degrees four times, and 60 will go into 180 degrees three times. So here we have 4 pi over 3. Because we're just going to go straight across. Um, let's look at one more. Let's go 135 degrees. Once again, we multiply by pi over 180. And in this case, between 135 degrees and 180 degrees, the greatest common factor is 45. 45 will go into 135 three times, and it will go into 180 degrees four times. So once we multiply straight across three times pi, that's going to give us three pi over four. Um, so now let's come <clears throat> to the other side. Um, and just I can give you five pi over six. So notice in this case, I gave you your measurement in radians, and we have to find the degrees. So what do we do in this case? We need to multiply it by 180 degrees over pi. So right from the start, we know the pi's are going to cancel. And you can multiply straight across, uh, and that will give you 900 degrees over 6, which will give you 150 degrees. Uh, but what I personally like to do is to cross multiply. 6 will go into 6 one time, and 6 will go into 180 30 times. Um, going across 5 times 30 gives us 100 in 50 degrees. Remember, on the bottom we have what? 1 and 1. Okay, and now let's look at one more. Uh, let's look at 2 pi over 3 radians. Okay, so we want to see our degree measure. So that's going to be multiplied by 180 degrees over pi. Like we said, our pi's are going to cancel out. 
Um, and this time, let's not cross it out. Let's just multiply straight across because people like to do it different ways. Going straight across, 2 times 180 degrees is 360 degrees. 3 times 1 is 3, and that would reduce to 120 degrees. So this is one of the um, main fundamental topics that we have to do when we're learning trigonometry. I'm learning how to be comfortable going from radians to degrees and degrees to radians. Like we said, we, uh, because there are two different units of measurement for angles.